Hold up, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I know what you're thinking. Another Hero 8 review. I'm gonna tell you guys why I think the Hero 8 is the one and only camera that you really need for your fishing channel on YouTube. Okay, good. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's a whale! Oh yeah, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a What's up guys, I'm Alex Epperson, Oklahoma's Worst Angler. If you're new to the channel, thanks for coming. If you could stop really quick and hit that subscribe button, that would mean the world to me. I'd appreciate that. Hit the bell notification, smash that thumbs up, do what you gotta do. Help me, help you, help support this channel. I think that's how it goes, whatever. So, guys, I'm obviously filming on my big camera right now, okay? Now, one reason why I got the Hero 8 is because I do 100% believe that this is the one and only camera that you will really need for a YouTube channel, for your fishing channel, okay? I'm gonna talk about fishing channels specifically because other YouTube channels, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do on those. I wanna keep it simple, I wanna help you guys, I wanna give you guys my advice and my points of view on this, why I think this is the one and only thing that you will need to make it on YouTube for your fishing channel and why you don't need a big camera like I've got. So my big camera, few reasons here. Few reasons why I'm not gonna be carrying that out there fishing with me as much anymore. For one thing, winter time, I don't wanna ruin it. It is weather sealed, but that camera setup, ah, I, don't, I don't even wanna, I don't wanna tell you the cost of it. It's expensive. The other downside is, the mic input is going out, okay? So right now, if you're watching on your phone, you probably only hear it out of one channel. But then we bring it back and now you can hear out of both sides, both speakers. So the mic input is going out and that's my own fault. I leave the microphone plugged in all the time. I bang that camera around and it's gotten loose so it's only firing on one channel and I have to tweak it just right to get it there. So that is why I'm not gonna be carrying that with me anymore. Plus, I'm switching back to more photography-based and video-based without sound, and that camera needs to be in pristine condition. So now that we've got that out of the way as to why I got the Hero 8, let me give you some specs. I got a little notepad here with me to give you some specs, okay? I wanted to give you guys this update, like, on Wednesday, because Black Friday is coming up, okay? Black Friday, you can snatch one of these up for $349. $349. I think Best Buy has got a bundle where you get a head mount, you get a little tripod, you get an extra battery and a memory card for $349. The same price as the camera by itself. That bundle, I mean, that, that's really all you need. The head mount, extra battery, a little tripod mount right there, and a memory card, you're set. You have your camera, you're ready to go, okay? So let's do some specs on this thing. Specs on this. 12 megapixel with improved HDR. Now, if you don't know what HDR is, I'm gonna camera nerd out on you for a little bit, so bear with me here. HDR is high dynamic range, okay? That is gonna be, some people think it's like high definition, but what that's gonna do for high, like the dynamic range, it's gonna give better highlights in the clouds, in the sky, it's gonna take away from the shadows as much on your face, it's gonna give you a better picture quality. That's what it's gonna do, video and picture, okay? Next thing. 4K 60 frames second. Is 4K necessary? In my opinion, no. I don't shoot in 4K, and I'm gonna get to that, and I'll tell you guys why. But if you want 4K, it does 4K 60 frames a second, and you get 100 megabits per second. And what that means is more data to the memory card for better quality video. That's what that means. That's when they say 100 megabits per second, that's why it's so high speed and cool compared to the Hero 7 better quality better quality video next thing there is no frame needed on these now some guys are going to be on there talking about how like the frame is wobbly if you tighten it down but there's no frame needed on this the legs fold right up you don't need a housing it's all in one the tripod or the gopro mount i mean folds right out so it's right there so all you got to do put it onto any of your existing gopro mounts Screw it on there nice and tight, and it will not wobble, will not shake, anything like that. 
Next thing on there, you have the HyperSmooth 2.0, which HyperSmooth to HyperSmooth 2.0 from the Hero 7, yeah, the Hero 7 to the 8, I've not noticed the difference in the HyperSmooth, but what the HyperSmooth is, it keeps everything steady, okay? I am gonna put some video in here showing you the difference, HyperSmooth on, HyperSmooth off. I'm gonna give you a little bit of footage just to show you some things. Just so you know, don't skip forward just yet, okay? Next thing, this has a narrow angle view, okay? Now the narrow angle view, I'm gonna show you, but that right there is one reason why I think this is a killer and why I think it is the only camera that you will need for a fishing channel on YouTube. And then audio, audio on this is fantastic. It's got three microphones. Now they say the Hero 7 has three microphones as well, but it's the placement of these microphones. One of these microphones is right up front, right here underneath the screen. For when you're shooting that vlog style, that point of view vlog style, you're gonna get better audio right there. It's got a microphone up top and then one on the side over here. So better audio coming out of it, okay? Now that I've gone over the specs, I wanna talk about the camera and I wanna shoot some video with the camera to show you guys what I am talking about, okay? So we power it on, one click, power's on. Now what's really nice with this, I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm trying to do this right to, so I can show you guys, but you can have personal profiles on here, okay? So what I've done with these profiles is you've got standard, activity, cinematic, and slow-mo. So to give you guys tips on fishing and vlogging using this as your one and done camera, let's go ahead and shoot some video with this really quick and I'm gonna show you guys why I shoot standard for the vlog style, okay? So this will be my vlogging setup, okay? This is under the standard profile, and I'm shooting a 2.7K on the narrow field of view with hyper boost on, okay? So nice and steady. I've got my arm extended. This way I don't have, you know, the, the whole arm view when you're vlogging. I mean, you can keep it right here, close to you. You're still close. You're getting great audio. You're getting a great point of view, a great vlogging view, I guess you could say. Not really point of view. But you're getting a great view without bulking around, you know, that big old camera right there. So, saves you time, saves you effort, looks nice and clean, looks really good. Let's go to the next profile that I have on here. So this right here is going to be my chesty mount, okay? This is under the activity profile, and this is, again, shooting 2.7K on the super view, 60 frames a second. Now I like the 60 frames a second because you, this is the money shot. This is where you can see everything, your point of view, casting out everything. And on this point of view, what you're going to get, if you want to slow anything down, rolling in 60 frames a second, in post-processing you can slow that down and get that 120 frames slow-mo look. Also, you want the super view because this is the money shot. This is how you make those fish look extremely big, right here. You know this shot right here? Like, oh look at that! in comparison to right here. But this is your money shot. This is gonna be your chesty point of view on the Hero 8. Let's go to the next profile and I'll show you why we choose that one. So on this one, this is gonna be your cinematic, okay? Cinematic, which I like to call the B-roll, okay? On cinematic, what we're shooting in, 4K, 30 frames a second, linear point of view. Now you'll notice from the last point of view, the linear point of view, nice and straight. No wide angle, no fisheye, nothing like that. Now I like this one for your B-roll shot because this is one that you can shoot in 30 frames a second. You've got the hyper boost on. You can pan really nice and You want to get that B-roll shot, you know, the John B type look, anything like that. You've got this in 4K, 30 frames a second, linear point of view with hyper boost. It's going to be nice and steady. You can pan that across. You can roll it up. Whatever you want to do with this, it's going to stay nice and smooth and shooting in 4K. I'm going to get to the 2.7 to the 4K differences in just a second. Let's go to the very last profile that we have set on here, and that is slow-mo. I was going to roll a slow-mo clip, but I forgot. On slow-mo on the Hero 8, under that profile, it is baked in in slow motion. And I don't have anything good to show for slow motion. I mean, I could go bounce a ball or something like that. But the slow motion shot, that is going to come into play when you want those sick slow motion releases we all love them. We all love to overlay them. That is where that is going to come into play. 
So you've got profiles that are built into the camera. You don't have to go through and swipe through a bunch of settings. All you have to do is go to the menu, you click on the profile, you swipe up, and you click activity. Activity is going to be your test mount. Okay? You want to shoot some B-roll, go to your cinematic sequence. You got your B-roll right there. If you're going to shoot your intro, put it on standard, put it on that 2.7K narrow field of view, and you're going to have it right there. So why do I shoot in 2.7K and why do we shoot in 4K? Why do we do this? When most of these videos, like mine right now, is uploaded at 1080. I'm going to tell you and I'm going to give you the reasons why because I'm a camera nerd. Okay? So the reason that we shoot in 2.7K on these little tiny cameras is it's not going to take up as much data as 4K. 4K will eat up a memory card super fast. Okay? On 2.7K on a 128 gig card, I can get four hours of video. Four hours of video on a 128 gig card in 2.7K. So you want to shoot in 2.7K or 4K and downscale it to 1080 because these sensors are so small in this camera, they can only get so much data and so much picture quality in these little image sensors. So, when you shoot in 2.7K, you're bringing in twice the amount of resolution and data as 1080. So, when we blow it up and put it on a big computer screen, that 2.7K looks crisp and good at 1080. And then we shoot in 4K for the B-roll to get really good detail shots, especially if you want to slow it down, those panning shots, anything like that. But that's one of my secrets. Guys ask me all the time, how do you get your camera work looking so good? That's how. I shoot in 2.7K and I downscale it to 1080. Your post-processing software will give you an option to do that. It's not hard to figure out. You guys can do that. On the big camera, even though it's a full frame, I'm talking like on a GoPro, the sensor is this size. On a full frame, it's about this size. So a lot more data on the full frame. I shoot in 1080 on this. Even though it's a 4K camera, I shoot in 1080 because it looks so good. And most phones, because we're watching on phones right now, I mean, even though you have a 4K screen, it's only going to get so many pixels read out on that screen. So the 1080 is your sweet spot to export at. Plus, when you export at 1080, it's a lot faster to render, which means you can get those uploads done a lot faster as well. Your computer's not working as hard. Speaking of computers, shooting on 4K, that will slow down your computer because it's so much data to work through. That's why I rarely ever use the 4K, even for B-roll. I love 2.7. 2.7K is perfect. So, guys, that's it. That's why I wanted to give you this review today on the Hero 8, why I think it's so good, and give you some of my tips and some of my secrets as to how I get video looking so good. So, thanks for watching. If you're still here, guys, I would really appreciate it if you have not hit that subscribe button yet please do smash that thumbs up if that's something that you're into. All right? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. Have a good one. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you next time we're on the water.